So I realized this morning that I've spent a lot of time teaching you guys and showing you guys about what we do with planting. Um, but what I haven't shown you is what we do to get the fields ready for planting. Um, so step one is I'm standing in the neighbor's field here and they harvested the wheat here last year and they came through and tilled it, turned the soil over, bury the trash to get the trash to rot away over the winter because you, you want it to kind of decompose and break down. And uh, we till all of our soils up here because we're so far north we get a lot of cold wet springs and the big concern for us is if the soil doesn't dry out in the spring it can be really hard to get in and get that planted so our heavy our soils are heavy and they're really black so that's a concern for us that's why we really don't do any no-till up here um, so this hasn't been tilled yet um, we'll come in with a field cultivator or a digger we call it and we'll dig this soil to uh, smoothen it out because you can see you wouldn't want to come in here and plant this right now because it's not a nice level seed bed this dirt isn't as soft, um, there's a lot of weeds coming through, so we'll come through with the digger and we'll till it up for the same reason that you'd till your garden at home, to kill the weeds, make a nice level seed bed, soften the soil up. And that's what we've done over here. If you cross the line in the field that uh, that's ours here that I just started planting, you can see we had corn on this last year, so there's a lot of, a lot of trash here, uh, a lot of residue from last year's crop, which is good, which is fine. That'll break down and, and and uh, go back into the soil um, but this has been tilled and this is nice and level and soft we dig it about four inches deep we're planting the beans at about an inch and three quarter deep roughly um, so we'll dig this about three to four inches deep we really don't see a point to digging it too deep we just want to scratch that top level it off and make a nice seed bed so that's step number one to what we do to get the fields ready well, 10 minutes after we got going, the neighbor came out and started digging their field. Their uh, machinery is a little bit of a different color, but I guess it gets the job done anyway. Um, they're going to uh, get that field ready, and I imagine they'll be out there probably planting that tonight or tomorrow morning, it would be my guess. It's a beautiful day if you're a cow to be munching on some vegetation. Well, I was hoping to get into some of this equipment myself and show you guys how some of this runs, but we got rain coming tomorrow afternoon and we're down to our last couple hundred acres. So we're kind of hustling to finish up uh, everything, try to get everything planted in time before the rain. So I'm not gonna get a chance to run the rock picker, but that's kind of the next thing that we do. And I'll show you here, we got our rock pile, one of many. So these are the kind of rocks I'm talking about. And it's not like our fields are covered in these rocks, but. This one is exceptionally huge, but uh, these are the, the, the rocks that we've got to get off the field. If we roll any of these out with the tillage from last fall or with the digger, the guy running the digger kind of makes a mental note of where the rocks are at. And then we get somebody out in the rock picker. He'll come out and pick these rocks and we'll get them off the field so that we can plant. Um, the rock picker, it's not like, obviously we're not picking these by hand. You guys have maybe seen them, but they, they lower down to the dirt and then they got a big reel on them that whips them up, throws them into the bucket, and then uh, he's got a different way to dump them into here. But um, I was hoping I could show you guys that, but if you stick around and keep watching, you will definitely see that this fall. I'll get a chance to drive it a bunch this fall and we'll show you how that works. So that's kind of the next thing, that's kind of the last thing we do before we plant. Once we're done with all of that, it's time to go planting. And hopefully watched uh, the other videos that I've got and you kind of understand a little bit about planting so I'm not going to run through all of that but I will show you how we fold and unfold this thing um, we start with our wing wheels we call them put our wing wheels down make sure it's folded up tight and then we uh, drop the three point hitch a little bit and then we unfold it here Doing my, doing my best to hold the phone. I've kind of got to work with both hands while I'm doing this, so holding the phone's a little extra tricky. And we leave the tractor in neutral so that the planter can either roll forward or the tractor can roll backwards just so not, nothing is binding up as it folds and unfolds. And the hitch kind of slides there comes forward and locks itself in 
Then we drop the three point down all the way so that the planter's running level. And click it into plant. This is our control box here for controlling all that. We can control the different clutches on the different sides of the planter and the uh, markers here for when we do want to use the markers. So that's how we do that. And then we go planting. And when we're all done planting, we fold it up just the opposite of what we did before. Alright, after we're done planting, we do what's called roll the field. And uh, what the roller is, is it's got uh, big drums on it, or barrels, I don't know what, what you'd call them, I call them drums I guess, big steel drums. They're hollow, so they're not as heavy as they look. But basically, he's going over the field to lay it out so it's nice and flat and level. It makes it much easier to combine. The header for the combine rests on the soil a lot more level. It doesn't pick up uh, small rocks if you've got small rock issues. It's easier to get all the way down to the bottom and pick up all the seeds so that you're getting all the beans that you planted. Um, some guys will do that ahead of planting. Um, we usually do it afterwards. It's really kind of a horse apiece. There's benefits to both. We don't do it on any of our, uh, our, our corn ground where we planted corn because we don't have the residue. Uh, or the trash left over from last year's plants and so sometimes you get issues with wind blowing blowing the soil around and we don't want to cause any more soil erosion so that's why we only do it where we've got last year's corn residue to level out for the beans. This is kind of a new thing that guys started doing really just within the last 10 years it seems like. So that's the roller there. I finally got some footage of that. I haven't even gotten to drive it yet this year. The last thing that we do with our fields after we've planted it, and I was hoping to get some footage of it, but uh, the sprayers actually broke down right now, so I'm not going to get any video of that tonight. And I've got to stick around in the planter, keep this thing moving because the rain is coming. So I'll just tell you that uh, you will get some video of the sprayer when we start spraying a little bit more, but uh, our pre-emerge spray, we put it down right after we plant the beans, and it's before the beans come up, so we'll actually come by and plant this, hopefully, or spray this tomorrow, I hope. Um, and the pre-emerge spray's got a couple of different residual chemicals in it that we spray down to help control some of the weeds that are, have become a problem in the last five years. Um, there's a couple of different weeds that are a little bit resistant to Roundup. Um, Roundup will still kill them, but they've got to be really small. Um, and another thing it does is it just kind of buys us some time. It gives us a couple more weeks before we've got to hurry up and get back into this field to spray. So it helps us just control the weeds a little bit more so we can get to, we can get our corn sprayed before we have to get back to our bean fields and get those sprayed. Um, but that's basically the last thing we do once we're done doing that. Um, we wait for everything to pop up and we, we kind of just move right into spraying corn once we've got all the pre-emerged beans sprayed. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch all the, the uh, back videos if you haven't. Uh, I do have an Instagram now also, MN Millennial Farmer on in Instagram and I made it easier to find me on Facebook also. So if you're an Instagrammer or a Facebooker, go ahead and find me on there. And uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Thanks for watching. And after just a few short days of some heat, a little bit of rain, and hopefully plenty of sunshine now in the future, this is what we hope for. 
you can actually see this plant here I dug this up you can see it growing right out of the seed there it's hard to see my phone in the Sun but uh, this is what we hope for this is a fun time of year